Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? How's everything? Watching the football. Beach. Oh, come on. No, it's time for a class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Vamos a comenzar. <clears throat> All right, I'm calling attendance now. Okay. <clears throat> Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Gracias, Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Arles Ernesto, presente. Thank you very much. Baudilio Elenison Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Present teacher. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Francis Salvallero. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. No creo se pueda presentar, teacher, porque anda trabajando. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, next. Uh, Ever Taristides Oya Ruiz. Presente, teacher. Solo voy a estar escuchando la clase porque voy conduciendo. Ok. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Welcome. José Amirte Reyes Cruz. I'm here, teacher. Present. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present, teacher. Welcome. José Valentín Rivera López. Yo. Yeah. Presente, teacher. Ok, welcome. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, 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 teacher. Ok, welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present, teacher. Welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. María de Lourdes Miroslava. María Magdalena Cedillos González. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present teacher. Welcome. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Teacher. Dígame. Santos Mauricio conectándose. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Arias Rivas. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Wilber. Ok. Voy a llamar de nuevo. Algunos tal vez ya se incorporaron este rato. Aquí en el chat. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias presente. Okay. Santos Mauricio presente. Santos Mauricio. Ok. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo, Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Ortiz. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Ahí está Cecia ya. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén. Ebre Enrique Gallegos. Present teacher. Welcome. Franklin de la O Ayala. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. María de Lourdes Miroslava. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Bueno, tomamos asistencia nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Ok, everybody, take a look. Cecia, dígame. Estará en calidad de oyente porque no estoy en mi casa aún. Ok, thank you. Franklin de la O presente. Ahí está. Thank you, Franklin. Okay, everybody, take a good look. Sorry. Um, it's, this is English Principiante Modulo 3, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. And this is session number nine. Today is July the 3rd of 2023. So what are we going to do? Simple. Vaya, necesito que me presten muchísima atención porque vamos a ver en esta sección, en esta unidad, un tema que requiere, requiere concentración. Vamos a empezar a ver el pasado. Así que hay bastantes reglas, bastantes cosas, bastantes detalles que cuidar. Así que les, les voy a pedir dos cosas. Uno, que presten muchísima atención. Y número dos, que traten de participar. De acuerdo. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for uh, talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. So that's lesson objective 4.0. Snapshot, listen and practice. Top eight things people hate to do. Las ocho cosas que la gente más detesta hacer. So that's the top eight things people hate to do. The first one is stand in line. Okay, people hate to stand in line. Okay. Number two, do laundry. I hate the laundry. Okay, I hate doing laundry. Number three is travel to work. People hate to travel to work. Number four, go to meetings. People hate to go to meetings. Ir a reuniones. Number five, exercise. People hate to exercise. I don't hate to exercise. Number six, work in the yard. E, okay, people hate this. I hate to work in the yard. Number seven, clean the house. People hate to clean the house. In my case, I like it. And number eight, open the mail. That's number eight, open the mail. Más que todo en estos tiempos presentes, cuando uno abre correo, 
son puros cobros siempre. So that's open the mail. People hate that. So that's the vocabulary. Do you have any questions about it? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario? María de Lourdes nos dice que ya está por acá. Welcome. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta, consulta acerca del vocabulario? No questions. María Magdalena. Good evening, teacher. Present. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ya, ya tomé su asistencia. Permítanme, no había aparecido aquí. Ok, hoy sí, ya está. Ok, Thank welcome. You, You're welcome. Ok, um, ¿alguna pregunta, consulta sobre el vocabulario? No. So, uh, do you hate to do these things? Siempre insisto, eh, participen, participen. Cuando iniciamos este grupo, en el básico 1, principiante 1, participaban bastante poco a poco, se fueron apagando todos. Traten de hablar, de acuerdo. So, uh, do you hate to do these things? What other things do you hate to do and why? Ok. De todas estas. Let's see. So you have the list. The list is standing line, do laundry, travel to work, go to meetings, exercise, work in the yard, clean the house, and open the mail. What do you hate to do the most? ¿Cuál es la que usted detesta más hacer? Baudilio. I hate uh, the first option. I no la veo ahí por la... This one? Yeah. I hate stand in line. I hate to stand in line. Okay, Baudilio says he, say, he hates to stand in line. Okay, thank you, Baudilio. Who else wants to participate? What do you hate to do? De las opciones que están ahí, para la que usted más le choca. David Antonio, de Narles Ernesto. Go to meetings. Go to meetings, okay. <laughs> okay, you hate to go to meetings. All right. Arles Ernesto? Travel to work. Travel claro to work. Travel okay. to work. Okay, Por travel. La cantidad de personas que movilizan a la hora pico. Yes, that's, that's really bad. The rush, la hora pico in, in English is the rush hour. Ahí aparece. The rush hour. La hora pico. Okay, so, um, uh, Maria de Lourdes. I hate clean the house. You can say, I hate to clean the house. Okay, you hate that. I understand. Por acá nos dice Carlos Edgardo, que ya está presente, también Edith Consuelo. Okay, bienvenidos. Okay, there you go. So, well, let's continue. These are the top eight things people hate to do. I want you to listen. Por favor, escuchen. Top eight things people hate to do. Can you hear that? Listen. Pueden escuchar? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Thanks for confirming. Okay. And then practice. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Okay, that is good. So what is next? There's a conversation. I didn't study. That's the conversation. I want you to listen. And after that, I will need two volunteers to read the conversation for me. But listen first. Escuchemos primero. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. 
that my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay. That's the conversation. I didn't study. No estudié. So um, I need two volunteers, please. One gentleman and one lady to read this conversation. So who wants to practice? Arles, no sé si quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada. Two volunteers. Okay, Jose Amilcar, thank you very much. And who else wants to participate? A lady, please. Karen Julissa, thank you very much. Okay, Jose Amilcar, you're Michael. Karen Julissa, you're Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. <laughs> no, se, se, se saltó la línea. <laughs> ah, sí, sí, sí. Esta es la mía. <laughs> really? Why? Ya no me well, <laughs> well, on Saturday, I <laughs> exercise in the morning, then my roommate, um, I clean it, did laundry and chop it, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Saturday? On Sunday. Sunday, perdón. Sunday. I, I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Okay, thank you, Jose Milcar and Karen Julissa. <laughs> okay, so Michael says, Hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? To visit on buen fin de semana. Okay, and Jennifer said, Well, bueno, I had a busy weekend, to un fin de semana ocupado, right? And I feel a little tired today. Hoy me siento un poquito cansada, le dice. So Jen, uh, Michael says, really? Why? And Jennifer says, well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. Okay, en el sábado, ¿verdad? Hice ejercicio en la mañana, luego mi compañero de cuarto o compañera de cuarto y yo limpiamos, eh, lavamos la ropa y fuimos de compras. Y luego visité a mis padres. Michael says, so what did you do on Sunday? ¿Qué hiciste el domingo? Jennifer said, I studied for the test all day. Estudié para el examen todo el día. Michael says, oh no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. No estudié, le dice. Solo vi la tele todo el fin. So that's, that's the conversation right there. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Or the expressions? Preguntas acerca del vocabulario o las expresiones? I not question, teacher. No questions. Okay. All right, then. No question. No questions. All right. Let's go. Lesson objective. Take a look. By the end of this class, you will learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple utilizando o usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Bueno, ya hicimos esa conversación. So, this is the grammar focus. Take a look. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. Esto es el pasado, pero solo de los verbos regulares. 
Aquí es donde se complica un poco la cosa, pero veamos. You have simple past statements, regular verbs. You can say, Francisco, Juan Francisco Arrasal, dice que ya está por acá. Vamos a tomar su asistencia. Thank you. Ok. You can say, I studied on Sunday. The negative form is, I didn't study on Saturday. Look. You watched television. The negative form is, you didn't watch a movie. Affirmative. She stayed home. Negative. She didn't stay out. Affirmative. We shopped for groceries. Negative. We didn't shop for clothes. Affirmative. They exercised on Saturday. Negative. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't means did not. Is the contracted form of did not. Antes de continuar, veamos ahí. Para los observadores, ¿cuáles son las diferencias que ustedes pueden apreciar entre la forma afirmativa y la forma negativa? ¿Quién me puede decir ahí? María de Lourdes. En la forma afirmativa se agrega eh, y, y, uh -huh. y al final del verbo uh -huh. para pasarlo a, a pasado, valga uh -huh. la redundancia. Y en la forma negativa usamos el verbo auxiliar, sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Did not o, o didn't. Uh -huh. Y el verbo eh, conserva su forma original. Exacto, 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 exacto. Así es. Si ustedes se fijan, si son muy observadores, la forma afirmativa requiere que usted utilice el verbo en pasado. Studied. Terminan IED, watched, ED, stayed, ED, shopped, PED, exercised, ED. Pero la forma negativa, usted va a utilizar didn't y luego el verbo en su forma base. Nunca me vaya a combinar didn't o did para las preguntas y el verbo en pasado. Eso no sucede. Esos verbos en pasado únicamente suceden en la forma afirmativa. En la negativa, ya no. ¿Ok? Pero ya vamos a ver eso en mayor detalle. Now, there's the spelling. Watch becomes watched. ED, exercise become X becomes exercised. Study becomes studied. IED, stay becomes stayed. ED, and shop becomes shopped. ED. Pero bueno, esto es lo que aparece en el material. Ustedes ya me conocen. Vamos a expandir esto porque aquí <laughs> casi que no hay nada. So, no, no hay explicación. Well, take a look. This is new, so I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp. Okay, what's up, what's up? Uh, Principiante 3, aquí está. Okay, so it's past simple regular verbs. Take a look. They watch TV every night. This is present simple. Present simple que ya estudiamos en el primer nivel y en el segundo nivel. Okay, aquí aparece nuevamente. They watch TV every night. That's present simple. But now look, they watched TV last night. That is past simple. Last night, anoche. That's the past. Okay. So, Watched is the past simple. So what's a good thing about the past simple? Look, the past simple doesn't have any special forms for the subjects he, she, or it. El pasado simple no tiene formas especiales para he, she, or it. Es parejo para todos los sujetos. Ok, lo cual es una gran ventaja. Así que no hay que andar ahí fijándose si es he, she, it. Es igual para todos. You say, I watched... You watched, he watched, she watched, it watched, we watched, they watched. So it's the same for I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. No hay una forma especial para he, she, it en pasado. Now, the past simple is often ED for regular verbs. Okay? Cuando el verbo es regular, 
Entonces, por lo general, usted le va a agregar ed. For example, work becomes worked. Clean becomes cleaned. Start becomes studied. Dance becomes danced. Stay becomes stayed. Need becomes needed. Usted se fija, le agregan ed, ed, ed a todos estos y ya se vuelve a ver buen pasado. Pero no es tan simple. Ya voy a explicar cómo es esto. And you have some examples. Look. You have, I brushed, okay, my teeth every morning. Me cepillo los dientes cada mañana. This morning, I brushed my teeth. Esta mañana me cepillé los dientes. Ya está en pasado. Okay. Tani worked in a bank from 2005 to 2011. Okay. Tony trabajó en un banco desde 2005 al 2011. Yesterday, it rained all morning. It stopped at lunchtime. Ayer llovió toda la mañana. Se detuvo hasta la hora de almuerzo. We enjoyed the party last night. We danced a lot and talked to a lot of people. The party ended at midnight. ¿Verdad? Disfrutamos en pasado la fiesta de anoche. Bailamos mucho y hablamos con muchas personas. La fiesta terminó a medianoche. Ok. So, that's the idea. Look, you have the verbs in past. Brushed, worked, rained, stopped, enjoyed, danced, talked, ended. We have a chat entry here. Enrique Pérez dice presente. Bienvenido. Thank you, teacher. Ya está su asistencia. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Gracias a usted. All right. So, what are the spelling rules? Dije acá, ¿verdad? Que había que explicar esta regla. Bueno, aquí van. Spelling rules. Son las reglas de deletreo. Okay, first rule is add ed to most regular verbs. A la gran mayoría de verbos regulares, usted nada más le va a tener que agregar ed. For example, Work becomes worked, ed. Clean becomes cleaned, ed. Start becomes studied, ed. That's the first rule. Rule number two. For regular verbs ending in e, just add d. Si ya de por si termina en una e, solo póngale la d. For example, you have the verb decide ends in e. Creo que este color no es muy vistoso, así que se lo vamos a cambiar un poco. Give me a moment, please. Solo para que se vea un poco más. Yes. Just a second. Just a moment, please. Okay. There you go. So you have decide, for example, ends in E. So you only add D, decided. Complete ends in E. You only add D, completed. Bake ends in E. You only add the D, bait. Okay? No le voy a poner ED. Yeah. Then for regular verbs ending in a stress level with the final combination, consonant, vowel, and consonant, you have to add an extra consonant and ED. Estas reglas son parecidas a otras que estudiamos antes. Okay, so let's take a look. For regular verbs ending in a stressed syllable with the final combination, consonant, vowel, and consonant, you add an extra consonant and ed. ¿Cómo funciona? Ve acá. You have stop. ¿Qué sucede acá? Stop es un verbo de una sola sílaba. Todos los verbos tienen una fuerza de voz. Cuando solo tienen una sílaba, Ahí está la fuerza de voz. Entonces decimos stop. 
stop. Esa sílaba es fuerte, lleva el stress, lleva el acento, digámoslo así. Y termina en consonant, consonant T, vowel O, consonant P. Está la combinación consonante, vocal y consonante. Cuando esas dos condiciones se reúnen, usted va a duplicar la última consonante. Así que el pasado de stop sería stopped, P E D. Second example. Plan. Plan is a one syllable verb. Ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant L, vowel A, consonant N. The two conditions are met. So you need an extra consonant. And you say planned, double N, N E D. Example number three control. Control. Aquí es donde se pone un poco más difícil porque el verbo tiene dos sílabas. Pero si la última sílaba es la que lleva la fuerza de voz y además termina en consonant, vowel, consonant, entonces la regla se cumple. Control. Veamos control, ¿sí? Troll, la última es la fuerte y termina en consonant, vowel, consonant. Por lo tanto, va a agregar una consonante más. Tiene que duplicar la última. Controlled, ed. Veamos un ejemplo en que la regla no se cumple. Tenemos este verbo. Visit. ¿Qué pasa acá? Termina en consonant, vowel en consonant. De eso no nos cabe duda. Si sí termina en consonante, vocal y consonante. Sin embargo, no se pronuncia visit. No se dice visit, sino que se dice visit. Visit. La fuerza de voz no cae en la última sílaba, sino en la otra sílaba que está antes. Así que como no se cumplen ambas condiciones... Aquí no vamos a duplicar ninguna consonante. Aquí solo vamos a decir visited y ya estuvo. ¿Ok? Así que recuerde, tiene que ser, tiene que terminar en consonant, vowel, consonant y además esa última sílaba tiene que ser fuerte. En caso que el verbo solo tenga una sílaba, entonces esa es la fuerte, ¿verdad? No hay donde perderse. ¿Ok? All right, so before we continue, do you have, do you understand the rule? Se comprende la regla? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Now look, for verbs ending in consonant plus Y, you have to change Y for IED. If the final combination of the verb is consonant, and then Y, change Y for IED. For example, try consonant and Y. So you change Y for IED. Study consonant and Y. So you change the Y for IED. Study. Copy consonant P and Y. So you change Y for IED, copy, ¿ok? Veamos un caso en que no se cumple esta regla. Play. ¿Qué pasa acá? No hay una consonante antes de Y, es una vocal. Por lo tanto, no le vaya a cambiar nada, solo es ED. Ya tú. ¿ok? Those are the rules, the spelling rules. Any questions? No question, teacher. Okay. Let's continue. I'm going to send this to you. Ahí está. What's up? Okay. So what are we going to do? Take a look, past simple, regular verbs. Okay, complete the sentences, use a verb from the box. 
And what are the verbs? The verbs are brush, cepillar, okay, die, which is morir, and enjoy, disfrutar, happen, suceder, ocurrir, open, abrir, rain, llover, start, comenzar, stay, quedarse o permanecer, and want, querer. So what's that? You have to choose the correct verb and you have to use it in past form. Todas son afirmativas, por lo tanto, en todas va a ir el verbo en pasado. So, what do you have? Who wants to participate? Number one. Ever. I brushed my teeth three times yesterday. I brushed my teeth three times yesterday. That is correct. Very good. I brushed my teeth three times yesterday. Me, me lavé los dientes o me cepillé los dientes tres veces ayer. Very good. Thank you. What about number two? Jose Amilcar. It's what hot it, the room, so I opened the window. It was hot in the room, so I opened the window. Opened the window. Okay? Thank you. That is correct. Very good, Jose Amircar. Number three. You have to use two verbs here. Volunteers. Baudilio. Uh -huh. The movie was very long. It started at seven to fifty and fifteen. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. And it at uh, ten. Okay. Correct. The movie was very long. It started at 7.15 and ended at 10. Okay. La película fue muy larga. Comenzó a las 7.15 y terminó a las 10. Thank you, Baudilio. That is correct. Number four. When I was a child, cuando era niño, uh -huh. what do you have? Participants, please. Los que ya participaron, no sé, no, sorry, Baudilio, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Los que ya participaron, ya estuvo, quiero escuchar voces nuevas. Ya que me dijo la 1, la 2 y la 3, ya eso ya no, vamos con, con alguien más. María de Lourdes. When I was a child, I want, want to be a doctor. When I was a child, I wanted to be a doctor. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. When I was a child, I wanted to be a doctor. Correct. Very good. What about number five? Number five. If you know, raise your hand and participate, please. Vamos, atrévanse, atrévanse. Number five. Come on. Levanta la manita. Vamos. The accident, blah, 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 last Sunday afternoon. Enrique. Number five. Yes. The accident stayed last Sunday afternoon. The accident stayed. Mm, not really. Stay means quedarse o permanecer. Oh. So you have to use a different verb.
Eh, the accident happened. Last Sunday afternoon. That is correct. The accident happened last Sunday afternoon. El accidente ocurrió, sucedió, pasó, ¿verdad? El domingo pasado. So, number six, José Benjamín. The weather is nice today, but yesterday rained all day. The weather is nice today, but yesterday it rained all day. That is good. Thank you very much. Thank Correct. You. Number seven. Raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Who knows? Vamos, nos quedan dos. Anímense. Karen Yulisa. Ay, pero me voy a quitar la manito porque no veo. Um, we enjoyed our vacation last year. We, we stayed at a very nice place. Correct. Okay. We enjoyed our vacation last year. We stayed at a very nice place. Disfrutamos nuestra vacación el año pasado. Nos quedamos en un lugar muy bonito. Okay. Hospedados. So we stayed at a very nice place. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number eight, the last one. Easy. Only one option. Solo nos queda una. Okay. Ya había participado, pero vaya. Okay. O sea, Milka. O sea, Milka. And mm -hmm. Anna's grandfather mm -hmm. one, when wanted went when Esa ya la me usamos en la... textos me cubrió un texto. Esa ya lo usamos en la número cuatro. Once. Es cierto. Mm -hmm. Estar en... Entonces la última que queda es la Di. Die. ¿Cómo, cómo pronuncia? Die. Die. Die when he was 19 years old. 90 years old. 90 years old. So Anna's grandfather died when he was 90 years old. ¿Verdad? El abuelo de Anna murió o falleció cuando tenía 90 años. That's it, died. Uh, a petición voy a mandar este ejercicio. Okay, there it is. Okay, so um, what's next? Take a look. This is the past simple of regular verbs, negative form. Forma negativa. Permítanme. Okay. So the base form is play, start, watch, decide, work, study, and plan. So what's the affirmative form? You say, I played, you started, he watched, she decided, decided, decided. it worked, we studied, they planned. What is the negative form? For all the subjects, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, we use didn't. El auxiliar tampoco tiene una forma especial para he, she, it. Así que no se preocupen por eso. Please. So for all subjects, you use I, you, he, she, it, we, we, or they. You use didn't or the full form did not. And after that, you have to use the verb in base form. Okay? Never in past form in base form, in negative sentences. 
Esta forma, aquí repito, ¿verdad? La forma en pasado del verbo solo se utiliza en oraciones afirmativas. En las negativas, olvídelo. En la negativa tiene que ocupar la forma base. O sea, Milcar. Please, teacher. Repeat the pronunciation. Uh, what pronunciation? What part? Eh, number. ¿Cómo yeah. se dice columna? Two. Ah, the second column. Second column, yes. Ok. Please. Por cierto, ese es un tema que vamos a ver mañana. <laughs> Pero sí, ahí vamos. I played. You started. He watched. She decided. It worked. We studied. They planned. All right. Thank. You're welcome. So we use didn't plus the base form of the verb. You have four examples. I played tennis yesterday. Affirmative. I didn't play golf. Negative. My dad watched the news last night. Affirmative. He didn't watch the soap opera. Negative. No vio la telenovela. He didn't watch the soap opera. We worked last Saturday. That's affirmative. We didn't work on Sunday. That's negative. They studied for the midterm. Affirmative. They didn't study for the final test. That's negative. Aquí pueden ver todas las negativas llevan el verbo en forma base. Mientras que la forma afirmativa lleva el verbo en pasado. Okay? That's the key. So what are we going to do? There is an exercise to practice the negative form. Past simple regular verbs, negative forms. Ah, voy a mandar esto antes que se me olvide. Okay. Past simple regular verbs, negative form. Complete the sentences with the verb in the negative. ¿Cuál verbo? El mismo que está marcado. They worked on Monday, but... Enrique Pérez. Teacher, eh, como regla general quizás para... Ahí me dice usted si, si me equivoco. Mm -hmm. este, como regla general para los verbos es que las oraciones afirmativas es que va a llevar este, el, el, el verbo en pasado. Mm -hmm. eh, las oraciones negativa ya se va con el, el verbo va en presente lleva el auxiliar de, y uh -huh. que sea negativa sí, 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 como regla general so, solamente una, un, un detalle que uh -huh. cuando nos referimos a esta forma del verbo no es presente esto es la forma base del verbo forma base ah, porque el presente y el pasado son dos cosas diferentes entonces, eh, a esta forma nos vamos a referir a ella, ¿verdad? Como forma base del verbo, de base form. Base. Uh -huh. Pero sí, la regla es así como usted. Por ahí, gracias. Gracias, uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Ok. So, um, complete the sentences with the verb in the negative. They worked on Monday, but... ¿Cómo nos quedaría acá? Mismo verbo, pero en negativo. David Antonio. They worked on Monday, but they didn't work. They worked on Monday, but they didn't work on Tuesday. Correct. Very good. Thank you, David. Number two, volunteers, please. Uh -huh. Number two, Enrique. Number two. Yes. Eh, Le voy a leer toda. Yes, please. I, op I open the, the door, but I open open. Uh, Remember, use the negative form. 
I opened ah. the door, but, pero, but I, I didn't, I didn't open the window. I opened the door, but I didn't open the window. That's yeah. correct. Thank you, Enrique. Good. Number three, who wants to try? Jose Benjamin. And then Karen Julissa. Invite, John she, Dipari, Gucci, uh -huh. Viven, Invit, Alex. Okay, uh, just the pronunciation. She invited John to the party, but she didn't invite Alex, okay? She invited John, but she didn't invite Alex. Invite Thank you, uh, Jose Thank Benjamin. You. Karen Julissa, number four, please. I talked to Andrea, but I didn't talk to Felipe. I talked to Andrew, but I didn't talk to Felipe. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. Just a moment. Okay, so uh, I talked to Andrew, but I didn't talk to Felipe. Okay, that is good. Thank you. What about the next one, number five? What do you have in number five? Maria Lourdes. He baked the cake, but he didn't bake the cookies. He baked the cake, but he didn't bake the cookies. That's correct. Okay, good. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. Baudilio, number six. We enjoy it the play, but we didn't enjoy the movie. We enjoyed the flight, but we didn't enjoy the movie. Okay. All right. Thank you. That is correct. Number seven. Number seven. Número siete, vamos. I joined, me uní, dice. I joined the football team. Different people, different people. But thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay. Number seven. Vamos. Vamos ahí sin miedo al éxito. David Antonio. Richard, solo recuerden cómo se pronuncia él. Joy, join. I joined. Mm -hmm. Joined. I joined the football team, but uh, didn't join the tennis team. I joined the football team, but I didn't join the tennis team. That is correct. Okay, thank you, David. Great. Number eight. Number eight. Mauro. They of, offer free drink, but they didn't offer free desserts. Desserts, okay. They offered free drinks, but they didn't offer free desserts. Ofrecieron bebida gratis, pero no ofrecieron postre gratis. Hay cuidado con la palabra. Si dice desert, es desierto. Si dice dessert, es postre. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mauro. Uh, number nine. Who wants to try number nine? Number nine, number nine. You attended the wedding. Asististe a la boda. You attended the wedding. Mm -hmm. Karen Julissa. Permítame que voy a bajar la manito otra vez porque no veo. Bueno. You attended the wedding. 
you attended the wedding, but you didn't attend the reception. The reception, yeah. Right. You attended the wedding, but you didn't attend the reception. Okay, good. Asistió a la boda, pero no asistió a la recepción. Okay, great. Baudilio, okay, Baudilio, number 10. <laughs> I oh. washed the dishes, but I didn't wash the clothes. I washed the dishes, but I didn't wash the clothes. Okay. Clothes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Usted pueden ver. Thank you, Baudilio. That's correct. Pueden ver que cada vez que aparece el verbo en forma afirmativa, va en pasado. Pero cada vez que está en forma negativa, usted va a utilizar didn't, que es el auxiliar para el pasado, y luego el verbo irá en forma base. En ninguno de estos casos negativos usted va a ver el verbo en pasado. Todos ellos llevan el verbo en forma base. Así que no olviden eso. Ok, so... It's very late. Vamos a tratar de hacer esto. Ok, so... Tim is talking about his weekend. Complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. So on Friday night, I, and in parentheses, you have wait. So I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend, and then you have not call. Este not indica que es negativo. So my girlfriend didn't call. I just, volunteer, please. Puede ser cualquier persona. David Antonio? Stay. I just stayed home and, correct? And. Uh, Karen Julissa? And watched television. And watched television. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Baudilio? I visited. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Okay, I visited my friend Frank. Thank you. That is correct. And then, volunteer, please. Enrique. We we talked and mm -hmm. we talked talked and la siguiente and, cómo sería and listened and listened to music. Okay, thank you, Enrique. That is correct. The next one, volunteer, please. In the evening, vamos, que nos queda poquito tiempo. María de Lourdes. In the evening, he invited some friends over mm -hmm. and we cook and great and great meal. Yes, in the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. Thank you. Baudilio, the next one, please. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Well, le doy chance, termine I, las otras también. <laughs> Desquítese todas. Uh, I didn't study at all. I, no. I just work up to mouth and shop. Okay. I didn't work on, very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. Okay. Bueno, pueden ver que la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado es un poquito complicada. Pero resulta que existen ciertas reglas de pronunciación que nos pueden ayudar a hacerlo de manera más natural y se va a escuchar pues mucho mejor. Pero eso lo vamos a ver el día de mañana. Hoy ya no nos queda tiempo. Vamos a ir terminando por acá. Antes de eso, tomaré asistencia a los últimos que no me han contestado. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda está por acá. 
Erika Presente, Beatriz. presente, teacher. Thank you. Monica Ivet Merino Rivas. Is Monica Ivet with us tonight online? No, she's not. Okay. Trabajen en la plataforma, por favor. Ya estamos en la sección número cuatro y ya vieron que pues es pasado. ¿verdad? Así que esto requiere bastante práctica. Vayanla completando poco a poco. Surgen cualquier duda que tengan, la podemos ver el día de mañana con todo gusto. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Ya, pero de pasar echarse, dijo Pelva. Ya, sin embargo.